Hello, this is the video for pneumonia. Most of this part is taken from the guy and Nelson's. Now, what is pneumonia? Inflammation of the parenchyma of the lungs is called pneumonia. Now, epidemiology. Why the disease pneumonia is important? Because it is leading cause of the, uh, leading cause of death globally under five years of uh, five years age children, and it is uh, two thousand times more common in developing country than developed country. As we are from develop developing country, it is more important. Now classification of pneumonia, it is classified on the on the uh, three factor on the basis of three factor age group, causative agent. And anatomical parts involved during pneumonia. We can remember it by ACA, age group, causing agent, and anatomical. Now, looking at the age group, we can remember it uh, age group by 3, 3, 4, 5. That means neonates, neonates less than 3 weeks, 3 week to 3 month, 3, 4, 5. 4 means 4 month to 4 year, then greater than 5 year. Now, neonates uh, less than 3 week. Uh, what is the commonest organism in uh, neonates less than 3 weeks? Generally, gram-negative bacilli, E. coli, Klebsiella are responsible to cause pneumonia in neonates. In 3 weeks to 3 months, uh, virus like respiratory syncytial virus, other respiratory virus like influenza, para-influenza, adenovirus, rhinovirus are uh, responsible. In bacteria, hemophilus influenza is streptococcus pneumonia. In 3 week to 3 month uh, child, hemophilus influenza is most uh, common than uh, streptococcus pneumonia. Uh, in 4 month to 4 year, uh, the causative agent is same as that of the uh, 3 week to 3 month, but uh, streptococcus pneumonia uh, is more common than hemophilus influenza uh, looking at the bacterial cause. Uh, in uh, in children greater than five year, atypical pneumonia that is caused by mycoplasma pneumonia and chlamydophilia are more common. Now, classification on the basis of causative organism. Uh, what can be the causative organism? Bacteria, viral, fungal, rickettsial, atypical, and parasitic. In bacteria, we can draw the name of the bacteria from above uh, age group classification. Uh, like Hemophilus influenza, Streptococcus pneumonia, Group B Streptococcus, Staphylococcus aureus, Mycoplasma, Chlamydophila, uh, Gram negative bacteria, and Group A Streptococcus. Uh, the uh, important uh, important fact about the bacteria is Hemophilus influenza uh, commonly occurs in unimmunized children. Streptococcus pneumonia uh, causes the consolidation. The other bacteria causing consolidation is Group B, uh, gram negative bacteria, and gru uh, Group B Streptococcus commonly occurs in neonates, as we have already discussed in this age group classification. Staphylococcus aureus causes formation of the pneumatocytes, uh, that is, air filled cystic cavity, which we discuss uh, later. Mycoplasma and chlamydophila. That is atypical. That occur uh, greater than uh, in children greater than five years of age. Uh, group A streptococcus causes impyema. Now, looking at the viral causes, we can also draw the name of viral causes from above age group like respiratory syncytial virus, para influenza virus, influenza, adeno, human, meta virus, and Boca virus. The import important uh, fact about the, the virus are respiratory syncytial virus also causes bronchiolitis. Para influenza virus is uh, responsible to cause uh, croup. Influenza uh, A and B commonly occurs in winter season. Most of the other viral infection also co uh, occurs in uh, winter season. Uh, human meta virus and Boca virus also cause pneumonia. It is emerging virus for bronchiolitis. Now, looking at the fungal cause, we can remember fungal cause by this pneumonix A, B, C, D, that is Aspergillus, which commonly occurs in immunocompromised, uh, B means blastomyces, cochidiomyces, uh, D means there is no any D viral causes, I have uh, replaced D by PS, P means pneumocystic zero vecchi and histoplasma. Now, rickettsia, uh, it occurs by the tick bite. And or typical bacteria are Mycobacterium tuberculosis, Mycobacterium avium complex, Parasitic, Ascariasis, and Stungliots. We have discussed the infectious cause causing pneumonia. Now, what are the non infectious cause that uh, causes pneumonia? Non infectious cause are C, S, D, congestive heart disease. We can remember in this way C means chemical pneumonia, foreign body aspiration. H means hypersensitivity, D means drug induced or radiation induced. 
Now, looking at the risk factor causing pneumonia, risk factors are low birth weight, malnutrition, vitamin A deficiency, lack of breastfeeding, smoking. Uh, smoking is less common in pediatrics, but it can occur in adolescents, so it is important. Second, and smoke, air pollution, large family, overcrowding, bronchitis in family member. Now, how can we remember this risk factor? I have remembered in this uh, way by this mnemonics. Risk factor, no any risk factor. That is, no means nutrition, A means air pollution, R means recurrent bronchitis in the family members, F means family members, N means nutrition. Uh, we can remember nutrition in this way. Child didn't take food, child didn't take milk. So, uh, when child didn't take food, he uh, low birth weight occur in the child. When he didn't take milk, vitamin A, he didn't get vitamin A from milk. The, this all factor lead to malnutrition. We can take out five point from this uh, this mnemonics. Uh, lack of food intake ac according to his calorie requirement. Less breastfeeding. Low birth weight. Vitamin A deficiency and malnutrition. Now we can go to any. Any means ear pollution. What can be other pollution? Ear pollution. Second, any smoking in pediatrics. Now R means recurrent bronchitis in the family and uh, what can be other factor in family that is overcrowding large family size now classification according to the anatomical structure involved during pneumonia it is three types lobar bronco pneumonia or lobular interstitial lobar which organism cause lobar pneumonia that is streptococcus pneumonia clipsella pneumonia and other gram negative bacteria bronco pneumonia Staphylococcus aureus viral, interstitial pneumonia, group A streptococcus and mycoplasma. Now, looking at the stages of pneumonia, it is congestion, red hepatization, grey hepatization, resolution. Looking at the congestion, when lungs are congested, lungs become heavy, buggy, and it is red. Now, in micro microscopy, what can we see? Alveolar exudate content bacteria. Now, coming at red hepatitis, how the macroscopically, how does red hepatitis? Red means the lungs look red. Hepatitis, hepatitis is the word derived for liver, so liver, it has liver like consistency. Gray hepatitis means uh, gray, it appears gray, but it has liver like consistency. Now, in microscopy, why it is red? It is red due to the alveolar exudate content RBC neutrophil fibrin. But RBC content is more. In grey hepatization, uh, alveolar exudate contains neutrophil RBC and fibrin, but neutrophil concentration is more. Now, in resolution, resolution means all the st all the st uh, uh, the pathogenetic process is resolving. So there is re restoration of the uh, lungs architecture. Now, why does it occur? Due to enzymatic digestion of the exudate. Now, what are the clinical features for pneumonia symptoms? Uh, there is prodromal symptoms uh, like common cold, cough. It is followed by high fever with chills, high grade fever that occur in bacteria while low grade fever that occur in viral fever or mycoplasma. Uh, chest pain. In uh, adults, uh, they complain of chest pain. Uh, in ch child, fast breathing, chest uh, in drying can be the complaint. Sinusis, if there is severe infection, the patient also complains of bluish discoloration of their skin. Other features are Drowsiness, restlessness, delirium, anxiety. Looking at the sign, uh, we can get the sign by examination. So, we, uh, we describe it by inspection, palpation, percussion and auscultation. Now, in inspection, we can see nasal flaring, increased breathing with use of accessory muscle of respiration, intercostal, subcostal, suprasternal retraction. Now, we can see uh, retraction severity. Retraction severity can be divided into mild, moderate, and severe. Mild means this is subcostal. Mild means subcostal retraction and substernal retraction. Moderate means intercostal retraction and uh, supraclavicular retraction. Severe means supraesternal retraction. Mild means subcostal, substernal. Moderate means intercostal and supraclavicular. And severe means supraesternal. Uh, there is pleuritic pain in uh, pneumonia, so the patient uh, splint on the affected side to minimize the pleuritic pain. Now, inspection. after inspection, uh, palpation. In palpation, vocal parameters get increased due to consolidation of the lungs. Percussion. Woody dull, uh, woody dull on percussion if there is complication like uh, consolidation, uh, pleural effusion. 
Now, in auscultation, crackles, wheeze, whispering pectorally, and bronchophonic and we are crackles. Uh, during uh, f uh, fine crackle, uh, it crackle is divided into two types, fine and coarse. Fine crackle can be heard early uh, in the early process like red, gray, variation, and coarse uh, crackle can be heard during resolution. Now, how can we identify a person with bacterial or viral pneumonia? In bacterial pneumonia, fast progression of the symptoms occur. Uh, in viral pneumonia, slow progression of the symptoms occur. Uh, High grade fever occur in bacteria, low grade fever occur in viral. The patient look toxic in bacterial pneumonia, while well, the patient look non toxic or uh, child, child is playful. Prodromal symptoms is less, while well, prodromal symptoms is more in case of viral pneumonia.